prepare yourself to attack the armies of darkness. This is iRequiem for the iPod and iPhone. And you know what the biggest problem with this game is? It's that in an era when people have difficulty spelling the word the properly, Requiem is a tall order. They should have tried something simpler, like I Requiem, because you'll be wrecking a variety of fun enemies in this game with weapons like hammers, axes, and flamethrowers. It. it ain't no fun unless the bad guys are well done. Flamethrowers, they just don't get old. Okay, so we've established that Irequiem has flamethrowers, it also has acid guns, rocket launchers, grenade launchers, and a variety of cool magic spells. What you're doing in this game is slaughtering pretty much everything in hell. I forget why, it's not that deep of a plot, but the writing is entertaining. There's a campaign mode and a survival mode, and it's a 2D side-scrolling survival-style game. Where you just walk left and right and use a physical attack weapon like an axe or a sword, or rely on some weapons like bow and arrow, crossbow, or the aforementioned flamethrower. You also have magic spells, and there's some other things that you can do, like when the blue ball at the top of the screen fills up, you can then enter the uh, cathedral or whatever that is, and regain some life or pull out a super weapon kind of thing. It seems like at times you need at least three fingers on the screen to play I Requiem properly, but you can get by with two. Since you're only moving in two directions, the controls are actually pretty easy to pick up and play. And it starts you out easy, but it does become more complex as you continue to play. We're watching about 20 levels in here. Where I'm facing some pretty badass enemies compared to what you see at the beginning of the game. You'll definitely want to upgrade your weapons, buy amulets, and keep a close eye on your health bar. It can be depleted before you know it. The gameplay is remarkably fun if you like this style of video game, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. The Army of Darkness and Duke Nukem inspired one-liners are cheesy and likable. In addition to the weapons and magic, you also have friends that occasionally help you. There's a blender tractor that I particularly enjoy. Rest in pieces. This had to be inspired by Army of Darkness. There's also a helicopter that you can fly around and bomb enemies. And lots of fun magic spells. It's a cool game. I Requiem. 2D survival monster slaying fun with flamethrowers. 